Yeah, hi, I'm Phil Watson. I'm the Associate Head of Department here for the ag uh, Agriculture at the University. So within our programmes we have placements, um, so students go off and do placements within their first year, so 220 hours. So students are supported to find the right placement for them. We obviously go and check that to make sure it's suitable. And then also using the commercial farm here, we get out onto the farm and I let them apply what they've learnt in the classroom, out in practice, and, and then also we, we utilise the farm for setting assessments and data management as well. Hello, my name's Bella Markham, and I'm not actually from a farming background. I'm a student here at Hartbury College on my third year studying. I study full ag here and also work on a dairy farm at home. So I actually live in a small village in Bedfordshire and I have been surrounded by farms but my parents weren't farmers. So I had the choice of whether or not to go into anything really. I am studying the three-year course Full Ag, so I have done all of the livestock here as well as having tractor work as well. So you have duties where you milk in your first year and then when it's lambing time you also will have duties so you'll do the lambing experience and you just have all the basically the knowledge to then go at home and work on a full-time job. We see uh, about 40% of our students coming through are from non-farming backgrounds. I think it's really good because they bring different ideas, have a different view on, on how the business is and, and how the industry needs to move forward. And it's sometimes with, with those from a farming background, you have to almost sort of break down some of the their views and, and opinions and get them to see things in a different different light. The aim of the Agritech Centre is to work with students but mainly with uh, industry as well so making sure that industry are aware of the technologies that are out there, supporting those in industries to, to get the most from those technologies and in the end supporting them with that business management and how technology goes into making their businesses more efficient and obviously in the end more sustainable. Yeah, we're not going to get away from the te technological revolution, so making sure students are aware of the technology out there and, and its application, and then sending them out into industry so they, they can advise farmers, they can use the technology, and they've got those sorts of skills then to really make sure that technology is enhancing the industry. It's no different this revolution now to perhaps when the tractors came in. It's ever changing, I think it's just making sure students have got those skills to be able to adapt to those and, and utilise them. Hi, my name's Finley Wooten. I'm uh, here at Hartbury studying Level 3 Land-Based Engineering. Um, my background as farming was from a mix of mechanical work and farm work. It's just something I've kind of got into over time and it's something I really enjoy. So I did a motor vehicle on um, qualification on cars and then I got into the agriculture side through Lamin and decided, you know, it's kind of a good jump to do between agriculture and mechanics and car mechanics, it's, you know, it just seemed like the, the better option for the industry and I've started it and, you know, never looked back. There's a lot of stigma in farming about, you know, people from a non-farming background coming into farming, but, you know, in, the, in newer years, you know, we've seen a lot more people from non-farming backgrounds coming in and as soon as you get stuck in, you know, you can put as much effort in as everyone else you know, you'll, you'll love it. During my course we do 45 days of work placements, I think it's something like 315 hours, um, and that all gets logged, and um, you know, the Harper will help you find a placement if you're struggling to find one, or you can do it at home, and then they come and vet it and check it's all safe for you to go and do the work at. Um, this is really beneficial going into industry because you can go to them and say, you know, I've got the college experience as well as the in-hand experience of working in a commercial setting. So the tractor you see me in here is um, one of Hartbury's machine ops tractors. So this is a tractor that students can drive to do uh, field work, which they will learn, you know, for every course. Um, so they'll go out into fields, they'll do cultivating, drilling, rolling, uh, mowing, a bit of fertiliser spreading, you know, everything that you do on an actual farm, you'll learn at Hartbury in these tractors. Sustainability, we've often talk about environmental sustainability, but I think the technology is now starting to make sure that businesses are sustainable with that economic aspect and then also supporting social sustainability through enabling sort of, uh, I suppose it's healthy food and, and safe food and that, so all of those aspects coming into that sort of sustainability rather than just environmental, it's all three pillars are important. 
But I think technology is only going to grow and it's perhaps going to change how we cultivate soil, how we manage our livestock as well. So if we're looking at uh, some of the projects we've got on going on on the farm here at a PhD level is looking at uh, using artificial intelligence to identify welfare issues and that before perhaps we as stock people would see them. So I think it's that change, we're becoming more of a, a farmer that's going to farm with a computer and a, and a smartphone and, and picking up things on that rather than the more traditional methods. Promoting students to, to carry out their own research projects in the final year and again that, that aligns to some of the current issues. So we've got students that have worked on mental health within the industry, we've got a PhD student looking at mental health within the dairy industry. But then we're also getting students to, to research technologies, work with companies on new technologies to see how that's gonna, gonna impact on animal welfare, business management and, and farms in the future. So again, moving forward, making sure that the research we're doing has got a real value to the industry. I've now ha been able to have the knowledge from here and bring it at home and it's perfect for someone who's not from a background of farming to then have the confidence to go get a farming job elsewhere. Anything that's going to get the message out there about what farmers are doing and the value that farmers have to every single person that eats three meals a day, I think it's important and it's great on social media as well to see a lot of those influencers starting to talk about agriculture and the importance of it. At the end of the day, it's a hard industry to go into. You will have very long days, go throughout the night, but the rewards are really rewarding and it's worth every minute of it. Well, I think they definitely help bring people in from a non-farm background because it's difficult to find out things about farming if you're not already in the farming area. So um, initiatives like Shout Out About Farming really do help bring the information through to people who may not be able to receive it in other ways. Campaigns like yourselves are brilliant to even get the public involved as well.